Dear students, now we are going to discuss byte level logical instructions and bit level logical instructions of 8051. Based on the number of bits used in logical operations, there are two types of logical instructions available in 8051 microcontroller. The first one is byte level logical instruction, the second one is bit level logical instruction. Let's start with this byte level logical instruction. These instructions are used to perform the logical operations such as AND, OR, XR, complement, clear, rotate and swap at byte level. Byte level means 8 bit operation. Okay. The first instruction is logical AND instruction that is represented as ANL destination comma source. This instruction performs the logical AND operation between the source and destination and the result will be stored in the destination itself. Example, A N L A comma R1. That means we are going to perform logical AND operation between the contents of this R1 register and A register and the result will be stored in this A register. It is a one byte instruction. It represents register addressing mode. Okay. Next one is A N L. A comma 25. Here 25 represents the memory location where the data is stored. It is a 2 byte instruction because that location is directly given in this instruction. Okay. So 1 byte is for opcode. The another 1 byte is for this data. Next example is ANL A comma at R2. Here at represents the indirect memory addressing mode. So here the location is stored in this register R2. Okay. The last one is ANL A comma hash 05H. Here this hash symbol represents it is an immediate data. So the next instruction is logical OR instruction. It is used to perform the logical OR operation between the destination and source contents and the result will be stored in the destination. It is represented as ORL destination comma source. Example, ORL A comma has 15H. So here hash represents it is an immediate data. So we are going to perform logical OR operation between the content of this accumulator and the data 15H. Then the result will be stored in this accumulator. It is an immediate addressing instruction. So it is a 2 byte instruction. 1 byte is for output, another 1 byte is to hold this data. So next, ORL A comma R0. It is a 1 byte instruction and register addressing mode is used ORL A comma 15H. So 15H means it represents the direct memory address. Okay. Then ORL A comma at R1. So at represents indirect addressing mode. The next one is XR instruction. It is represented as XRL destination comma source. Let's consider a few examples. XRL A comma hash 15H. That means to perform the XR operation between the content of this accumulator and the data 15H, move the result to this accumulator. XRL A comma R0, XRL A comma 15H, XRL A comma at R1. The next one is clear instruction. It is represented as CLRA. It is going to clear the content of the accumulator. So actually the accumulator has the content 1B. After executing this instruction, the content becomes 0. Complement instruction. It is represented as CPLA. So it is mainly used to complement the content of accumulator. So complement means once complement here. So 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0. So in this case we can take this one. A is having the data 0, 0. Then after executing this complement instruction, we can get the value as F, F. Okay. So the next one is rotate related instruction. These instructions are very, very important. Okay. RL, RLC, RR, RRC. RL means rotate left. RLC means rotate left with carry. RR means rotate right. RRC means rotate right with carry. Let's discuss one by one in detail here. So first one is RLA. Rotate the content of accumulator towards left. Okay, so consider the data in this accumulator like this. So 
So here this B0, B1, B2, B3, this represents the bit values, okay. It is a 8 bit register. So it is having the value 10111000, okay. So here this B represents the bit values. So after executing rotate left instruction, each bit is moved towards left. This B7 becomes the B0 value, okay. So then we can get the answer as 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So here we are not considering that carry. If we want to include that carry, we can use another one instruction RLC. So that is rotate left with carry. So here we have to include the carry also in this rotation process. Next one is RRK. That is rotate right. This instruction is used to rotate the content of accumulator towards right. So we are going to move each bit towards right side. So here this 0th bit becomes 7th bit. Okay. So this is what? Rotate right. So next one is rotate right with carry. So in this process we have to include the carry also. Okay. That is the difference between RR and RRC. The next one is swap instruction. Swap means we are going to swap the nipples within the accumulator. Swap is used to exchange the nipple values. Lower nipple to higher nipple, higher nipple to lower nipple. So here we can see that example. So in this one, the lower nipple 3 becomes the higher nipple. The higher nipple 4 becomes the lower nipple. Okay. The next one is bit level logical instructions. These instructions are used to set or reset a particular bit in the internal RAM or special function registers. The byte address and the bit address both can be different one, not the same. For example, in random access memory, the byte address can be denoted as 20H, but for the bit address, we can use 00 to 07. Each bit can be Defined with its location. Okay. That is very important here. The first instruction is clear instruction. So we can clear any particular bit. So clear C means we can clear the carry flag. So simply make it as a 01. Clear P 1.0. In 8051, there are four input output ports used. P0, P1, P2, P3. If we want to clear the 0th bit of this port 1, we can Use this instruction clear P1.0. The same way if you want to clear the 7th bit of this accumulator we can use this CLR ACC.7. Similarly set B that means set the bit. Set B C means set the carry flag. Set B P1.0 means we can set the 0th bit of port 1 is equal to 1. So the next one is complement the bit CPLC. We can complement the carry flag. If it is 0, make it as 1. If it is 1, make it as a 0. Okay. You can also perform logical AND and logical OR operations at bit level using this instructions. Okay. So we can move the data between that bit level using this move destination bit comma source bit. Okay. This are the bit level logical instructions.